no room in this city for the vulgar performances of Elvis Presley. It's shocking. I watch him gyrate his legs and swivel his hips. And our parent-teacher's group feels he should not be on television. It's true. Set up a 20-man committee. Baby, you made a man. Do away with it. This vulgar, animalistic nigger. Rock and roll vibe. Our committee will check with restaurant owners and cafes to see what uh, Presley Records is on their machines and then ask them to do away with it. People started calling me a sex maniac, saying I was lewd and obscene. It got to be ridiculous when the police filmed my shows. I thought the bad publicity would hurt my career, so I took a shot at telling my side of the story. Who? Hi, mm. I have Elvis Presley on the phone. Hello? Hello? Hello, Elvis. Just one moment. Hello, Elvis. Hello? Did you have fun tonight on the Steve Allen show? Yes, sir. I really did. I really enjoyed it. First time you ever worked in uh, tux or tails? Uh, it's the first time I ever had one on, period. You mean uh, you've got, as they say, four Cadillacs, but no tuxedo? No tuxedo. I usually drive the Cadillacs in blue jeans. <laughs> That's very interesting, particularly when a cop stops you and wants to know if you own the car, huh? That's right. You have to show them all, all your ownership papers and everything. That's right. You know, uh, less than two years ago, you were earning $14 a week as a movie usher and then $35 a week for driving a truck in Memphis. Today, you're the most controversial name in show business. Has this uh, sudden notoriety affected your sleep, your appetite, or the size of your head? Uh, not the size of my head. Uh, it's affected my sleep. How much sleep do you get? I well, average about four or five hours a night, I guess. Is that enough? No, well, it's really not, but I'm used to it, and uh, I can't sleep any longer. Uh, what do you, what do you uh, keep in mind mostly? I mean, uh, some of the songs you're going to do, or, or, or some of your plans, or, or what? What, what? What goes through your mind? Well, uh, everything has happened to me so fast in the last year and a half till uh, uh, I'm all mixed up, you know? I mean, I can't keep up with everything that's happening. And, uh, well, I think that I think that you've you've got very good company, and and uh, uh, Colonel Tom Parker, he his his feet are on the ground, and I think he's doing a wonderful job. Your style of gyrating while you sing has been bitterly criticized, even by usually mild and, and gentle uh, TV critics. Now, do you bear any animosity towards these critics? Uh, well, not really. They, those people have a job to do, and they they do it. And do you think you've learned anything from the criticism leveled at you? No, I haven't. You haven't, huh? Because uh, I don't I don't feel that I'm doing anything wrong. I don't see that any type of a music would, would have any bad influence on people when it's only a music, I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I can't figure it out. I mean, in a lot of the papers, I say rock and roll is a big influence on juvenile delinquency. I don't think that it is. What about the rumor that you once shot your mother? <laughs> well, I think that one takes the cake. I mean, uh, Where'd that one come from? Have you any idea? I, I have no idea. I, I can't imagine. Well, there's another one, too, you may not have heard before. Several newspaper stories hinted that you smoked uh, marijuana in order to work yourself into a frenzy while singing. What about that? <laughs> uh, I don't know. 